Hi, this is Hutch. Game on is now in session in Tokyo. It's in Odaiba. You can see 60 feet tall Gundam 2. They have a lot of playable games, as well as an exhibition of arcade games, video game console, and many more. One of the most interesting things is PlayStation VR trial booth. You can pick one out of four games and try it for like 10 minutes. Actually, it was my first time to try a VR game. It was an eye popping experience. Let's take a look. Let's take a look i n the exhibition. It has an astounding number of video game consoles in the entire floor. You can actually play many of them. It literally is a huge game arcade. The games range from old legacy to latest ones. There's also a Minecraft booth. They made the entire building Miraika in the game and you can play treasure hunting in it. Of all these, the most popular one is probably PSVR Trial. You can pick one of the four games and try for about 10 minutes. This time I tried The Deep. This one is more like movie demo. Unlike the other one, you just watched the demo, but it was amazing. I'm so sorry it was impossible to record what I saw. It was very new to me to see behind or above when I turned my head. Video games have been like a zoo. You see animals behind cages, and once you turn your head, it's gone. VR puts you into a safari. Wherever you turn your head, you're still in there. And you must do it to see lions. Again, I'm so sorry, all I can show you is me being silly. And it's not just a huge arcade. This exhibition has a theme why games are fun. To illustrate the theme, it begins with the core of all games. It's about tasks aim, avoid, break, and so on. Starting with the basics, the exhibition proceeds to the evolution of video game consoles. As it goes on, Games became able to provide players with more diverse tasks. Completing tasks is the primary fun of games. Then, interactions. As games have more dialogues, the interaction with the game forms a huge importance in gaming. The same thing applies to human to human also. Because of the internet, playing and interacting with others has now become a key part of many games. And with the introduction of Minecraft, The fun of creation has been added to gaming. Unlike solving ready made tasks, it's now players' turn to create tasks in games. Also, the increased availability of tools for game development has made an option for creating a game itself. Gaming is now in the age of creation. The relationship with society has changed too. Long ago, a saying of games were no good for kids was dominant. But now it's different. More people nowadays are accepting the idea of gamification for problem solving in real life. Another example is educational use of Minecraft. In this exhibition, they show several examples of the use of Minecraft for teaching the concepts of electrical circuit and programming. Students can learn basic ideas with visual and actual trial by themselves. This is something revolutionary to me. Finally, games achieved its position in society. With this brilliantly illustrated theme and totally novel experience of VR gaming, I really enjoyed the event. Indeed, video games have changed. Not just CPU and graphics, but also the relationship with people and society. 